G'day Westy here. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to update the Pico Station N2 base with uh, Unify software so that it can be picked up with the Unify application controller. Okay, now this is a bit risky too, so um, if you're a bit worried about it, don't do it. You know, so there's no guarantees that you'll be able to get it back at May Bricket. So what we need to do is we need to first of all go to Google and type in update Pico Station to Unify with a check and then click on the link right here that says Unify how to convert Pico Station into into HP to run Unify. Um, and it says here to download the binary, so I've got that binary downloaded here. So I can open in the uh, folder. It's on my desktop, so EROS2 Unify bin. Okay, then it tells you to in EROS user interface upgrade with a firmware binary, binary view. Okay, so I've logged into my device here, so we're going to update, upload firm, firmware, choose a file, there's the bin file there. And we can upload it says ROS2 Unified Bin and upload. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's asking me to confirm upload version 7, version 9.9.9, .9 .9 .9 and I'll update it. We'll see what happens. So it's currently updating the firmware. Okay, it's saying that it's updated, so I guess we'll try and see what happens after this. So we'll basically, um, we should be able to connect into it by the Unify software, hopefully. So we'll let that run. Wait for the controller to initialize, it takes about 30 seconds. Now remember I haven't done this before so let's just see whether it's a success or not. Yep, we're going to allow access. And we'll launch a browser. Go Okay, so now it's going right back to the beginning. Um, so select your language, your country, and then go next, discover. Okay, it's found the device, it's found my IP address that I had configured previously, so few. <laughs> okay, go next. Um, my SSID, I'm just going to uh, leave it as it was. And admin name, I'm just going to put Unify1. I'll just put and use it, make your own username and password. Okay, so SSID is ADSL. Uh, my admin name is Unify1, and then finish. Uh, 
Okay, okay, so now I'm on the controller side of it, I've actually identified the unit and it's got an active device and let's see what it's doing. It's got no traffic on it. Okay, it says it needs an upgrade, so we'll start a rolling upgrade. We'll see what happens. Rolling upgrade is scheduled. Click the apply button. Go on the side, on the top. Now I've got two green lights, and now I've got an orange light flashing on and off. And it's still pulsing. Um, I'll change this date to every five seconds because it was obviously taking two minutes to see what was going on okay it says it's connected I've got one user connected already which is great tells me how much upload and download has got so I can actually click on the device and it will give me an overview of what's going on tells me what my um, connection, my wide connection is and whether I've got any packet losses whether I've got any transmission retries or, or receiving retries and packet percentages drop so I've automatically connected five users on okay that pulses on and off great awesome so that works really good so now um so now what you can do is basically place, you can do a, get a map of your own property and you just place a, um, a unified device on your, wherever it is in your house and then you can lock it in place or you can unlock it and you can configure it um, and you've got your configuration button there once it comes up you can configure it give it an alias so we can call it um, uh, lounge Pico Station, for example. Wireless and apply. And that actually um, and you can actually go to details and coverage gives you the range of what, what the coverage is, but that's just a graphical interface. You can just leave it as label there so it's all locked in place so you can't move that around anywhere anymore. You can't configure it, but you can do it all down here or you can do it all across here. So, in the um, statistics, it gives you all the details. So, that was a success basically. Um, <clears throat> it's great though because you can actually create your own down here in the um, admin side or sorry, the uh, settings side. You can go to and you can create. Um, you control access um, you can see the recent events you can see where the packets are dropping whether it's getting signal uh, issues um, you can identify all the users on the network so you can go to users and it shows you the wall shows you what activity is going on um, so it's really quite quite great what, what it does so um, basically you can rename these devices each one give it a different alias and put some notes there if you wish to you can um, add it into user groups so you can create um, like user groups in here um, I think it's in the yeah, user groups makes sense um, so you can create a user group and you can actually limit the bandwidth and everything so I can like call this kids for example and download the limit to say um, um, say 4 meg per second and limit to 4 meg so create that group and then you can create another one and we'll call it um, TV streaming devices limit that to I don't know, uh, 164k
create. Okay, it's got a limit of uh, 102, 400, so let's make it that. It's 100 meg. All right, we'll create that. So now what we can do is we can actually add these different um, devices into the different networks. So we go into users, we'll click on, say, this one here, for example. We go to configure. And we can change it to the kids or as a group. And then we'll do the same with this one here. Change that to the kids user group. So now they will have a maximum throughput of um, um, four, four meg on those devices. So it should actually. It, well, we know because we configured that. We can actually test that. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's, there's quite a cool, quite a few cool things you can do. So now I've got to identify. Um, which one of these devices is my TV device? And then this one here, see what this is. Um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So, so hopefully you guys picked up something out of that. And um, yeah, we're all good. So you can, oh, what you can do also, you can create a new site if you wish to and add site. Um, and so you can, you know, if you've got different sites in different cities, you can create those. So I'll just log out. I don't know why I couldn't write it. We'll see if that saves. So it's got six users on the network. So quickly you can see whether you've got any APs that are waiting to connect. Um, yeah, change this to five seconds so that you get a fresh update. What's going on? Um, quickly, if you click on details, it tells you how many users, the channel it's on, and the guests. And you use a wireless um, range scanner to actually work out what channels it's on, and then you can change the channel. So, so yeah, it's got quite some quite cool stuff. That you can do. Um, you can check on known what wireless, road clients, past connections, guest authorizations. Um, yeah, so pretty cool what you can do. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.